Probably you will need to explore your database inside a container. So we have here a MariaDB container. So we're going to explore. So in order to get inside the container, we apply this uh, command docker execute dash it or it could be even the hash numbers is this one this is a container if we can type only the first five then bash and yes we got inside our container so now we can enter to the database with root credentials yes we are inside we can show databases yes now we're going to use the wordpress website and we can see which tables there are <coughs> for example let's describe w the table of posts and pages there are too many id and post title maybe post title and we can see here the hello world and so on so to show you that i got here my title of uh, wordpress of this container for example yes we can change the title hello world yeah we can change it to this hello world with a pretty face update and then if we go back to back to the database we see the change we see uh, more changes because wordpress is um, saving all the drafts that you write update and then this is the new post changed so whenever you edit a post and modify it wordpress will store another copy of the post let's exit from the database and we're still in the container you can check out something like the ip address that is found mysql d well and in order to exit your container you can use exit and now you are again back to your server